We got the new addition to the family. Everyone say hi to Endemia. She will be co-hosting tomorrow with me live on stream. A special tournament, 256 player, free tournament for all you guys, the greatest fans in the world. All you gotta do is sign up. There's 256 players, it's almost full. All you gotta do is subscribe to Ghost Corp down below and send me a screenshot that you're subscribed. Top eight tomorrow are gonna win an unreleased cloth play mat. An unreleased Truth Gaming cloth play mat. Like a $600, $700 total value for this tournament. Completely free for you guys. All you gotta do is subscribe to Ghost Corp, send me a screenshot, and you are in. It will be tomorrow, live on stream, 26 players, single elimination, live on stream at 12 Eastern time. So see y'all there. For this video though, we got updated Pendulum Deck profile time, boys. You already know what it is with hand traps. And it's gonna be a very good one, and I'm gonna go super fast. So make sure to stay tuned till the end so you guys can learn something. So if you're ready for the video, y'all know the drill. Smash the subscribe button. Let's get started on the most beautiful Pendulum Tech profile of all time, baby. Let's go. Also, don't forget, Kings, get your beautiful Servant of Endemian Cloud playmats. We're almost sold out, so get yours ASAP. There's only a few left. Let's go. Deckless time, boys. Let's get it. We're going to go super, super fast. Stay tuned to the very end. I'm going to go super speed. All right, I will not discuss stuff that I don't need to discuss because I've already discussed most of this profile in my last five profiles. It's very similar with the exception of the side deck. Now the first 19 cards I'm not explaining because it's straightforward at this point. Don't play Serb, don't play Magister. Next, Jester Confit. It's the only questionable card in here, but you need to play Jester Confit to combo with Restage. There are, including Jester Confit, there are 13 cards in this deck that combo with Restage. The only time you have a brick is when you do not draw one of those 13. But in a deck that plays 16 draw cards with 13 cards to combo with Restage, it is almost impossible for you to brick with Restage if you play the Jester Confits. They're also targets for Allure, so they synergize with the entire deck. Level 1s for everything, helps you make Crowley, synergizes with the whole deck. You don't brick with it. The only time it's bad is when you drop uh, 5 extenders, but that's what Sayuja is for. Mandatory, and you're going to have a Jackal to protect it, so you're fine. Because you're going to drop twice with Crowley, you're going to Selene, Jackal, uh, draw Sayuja, etc, etc. So you're good. Play Double Jester. Triple Desires, Mandatory, some people play 0-2, whether you play 3. Two blue boy, two secrets, one knowledge. I'm gonna discuss this quickly. If oh, that never play this ratio. All right, you must. I literally typed in blue boy there, but never play this ratio. The one two. This is the most typical one two one. Right, never ever 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 play. That's horrible because everyone's playing Vela, everyone's playing impermanence, everyone's Ash, etc. They're gonna hand trap the blue boy right away. Hence, you go into Crowley with your 15 extenders in your deck. Make a second Crowley. Crowley can now resolve because now Crowley can search another blue boy and another knowledge and another secrets. Absolutely mandatory. A lot of people don't play Allure. You're playing it wrong then. The whole deck's dark, and if it's not a dark, it searches a dark. Massey searches a dark. Abductor searches a dark. Draw cards search a dark, etc. Uh, draw cards. Into the Void, upstart, mandatory. Master mandatory, obviously. Knowledge, instant fusion, mandatory. But don't play Winda and Restrict and all that. Only play Millennium Eyes. You, your action deck is way too important, despite what people think it, that it's not. It is very important. So don't waste action deck space. It's not worth the one window if you draw instant fusion randomly. Restage, mandatory. A lot of people don't play restage. Morons, this card's insane. It is not only the dark ruler out, I don't even care about that. It's the fact that it's an extender and two spell counters. So, so uh, Souls is an extender, right? Chronograph's an extender, right? But just a uh, Magician's Restage gives you two spell counters on top of an extender. So you get a free card. And because of Selene, extenders are mandatory. You could play with one Selene and no pen summon, and you can still play with the big board. And it gets you right hand. So it gets you in a gate, gets you two spell counters, and it gets you a special summon. That's crazy. And Magician Souls with this is even more crazy because you draw even way more. So just another card for Souls as well. And Souls is searchable by your whole deck. Abductor, Souls. That's six Souls you play in your deck in a, in a, a 24 card deck because you play 16 draw cards. Now, side deck. This is what I really want to talk about the most. Triple Nib, Triple Token Collector. These cards end turns. These cards stop. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, the FTK could FT could the FTK can 100% FTK through Nibiru, but only about 50% of the time. Token collector stops this. Another option as well here is null none. Now, not many people will play this card because they think it sucks, and you're probably right. But null none stops the whole FTK, and on top of that, it gives you three turns versus rock deck. So it's actually a fantastic side deck versus the rock deck. So Ash Blossom, for those people, I put it in the uh, picture first because Ash is for the people that don't want to take the chance on Spooky Dogwood. But I really believe Spooky Dogwood is amazing. Now if you look at these eight, these eight are turn enders. There's Spooky Dogwood ends turns. I'm not joking. A combo player, uh, you're playing Pendulums, right? So let's say you, you just Spooky Dogwood them. All right, great. 
Now, they're gonna make you gain 30,000 life, a rock player makes you gain roughly 30,000 life points. So you're gonna save four turns, three turns. You could already break a full rock board with six pendulum cards, let alone, now you're gonna have nine cards to do it? You get that logic there? These decks can't OTK you. And the only way that rocks could, that you're gonna be at 30,000 life points, how's rock gonna OTK you when they're gonna have to link away all their negates to attempt to OTK you, and they still can't OTK you, because they can't even put up more negates after. Because after the board's done, there is no more negates after that. They literally physically cannot put up more negates on board. Same with L Lich as well. L Lich, they're not OTKing you for time turns, bro. You're gonna if they're doing VFT combo, you're you're, you're gaining twenty thousand life points. They're not OTKing you for for ten turns. They're gonna do like five thousand damage. 5, 000, I don't care. Thank you. I have twenty eight thousand life points. You're dying. Spooky Dog was crazy uh, against the meta specifically right now. Aside from this meta, Spooky Dog obviously sucks. But if you're too scared to use it, play two Ash instead. So you got these eight turn enders. Token Collector stops the FDK, stops L Lich. Uh, in my opinion, Nibiru, Phantasme, and use Phantasme to draw into them. So you're not only playing like like eight of them, you're playing 11 of them. Because Phantasme draws us into them. And then post, uh, you know, after, after you're actually playing, you can pen summon the Token Collectors, the Spooky Dogwood, and the Phantasme, and use them offensively, as well as Phantasme being a dark and a level seven. So they're actually totally fine. You just pen summon them, normal summon them, and you can still play with them. So it's totally fine. Uh, now you take out these 11 specifically. There's a reason why you play 11. I want you guys to look very closely, okay? I want you guys to look very closely. This is what you side out. Take it into the void when you're playing the hand traps, all right? You take out two Magician Soul right here. You see these 11? These are 11 that I take out in terms of the hand traps. Post side, when you're playing 11 hand traps, you're playing a much slower build. But you still need, because the deck already doesn't have many uh, scales, you need to still play ext extreme scales as much as you possibly can. Take out these 11 because souls will not be as powerful without as many spell cards and with so many hand traps you don't need too much stuff another option as well is if you want to keep the spellbook engine which is also a great option is you could take out one jackal at one mighty master post side deck and you could keep in the double spellbook engine to ensure that you draw them uh like this so that way you take out these 11. they're all depending on what you face obviously but post side you always take out the restages the dressers the souls uh maybe a one blue boy one secrets and two souls and you're good uh, now we're going to re-put the deck together how it was. And we're going to move on to the, the extra deck. I want to make this as fast as possible so you guys could actually stay tuned to the very end. Like watch the whole thing and like learn uh, what's required, etc. So we're going to replace the deck as it was. These are the, And always uh, make sure guys, alright, your deck. Make sure your side deck, you know what to take out all the time. Now when, uh, another reason I like the Ash Blossom as well is all, all, all whatever you really want. What do you fear most? What do you expect to face? The side decks all depending on the on the format, not and not just the format, but the tournament. What are you expecting to play? If this is a PPG tournament, you don't gotta side any hand traps. Take all your hand traps out. Uh, if it's a PPG tournament, then you just play, uh, play Mystic Minds and like a uh, more uh, Cosmic Cyclones to stop hand trap decks. I also like Ash Blossom because uh, trap decks, uh, you side these six for a specific six. You take out these, because you're putting in Denkos, you want to get rid of two normal summons. So you would like to get rid of these six for trap decks. That's also why I like Ash Blossom. So it's another option if you want. You could potentially take out a token collector and one Phantasmate to put in two Ash as well and two, two Null None. That way Ash Blossom can also be used uh, against trap decks. So uh, that's it for the side deck. I'll now discuss the main the extra deck, which I will not go too much into because it's also standard. Also uh, per literally perfect. I'm not changing this extra deck unless something changes in the meta. Triple, Celine, no question. Crowley, Breaker, Cross Sheep, Mascarena, Unicorn. I go into all of them. If randomly, it's a, if it's a PPG tournament, I'll also play Nightmare Phoenix. Uh, and I would take out... Uh, you can't take out Sayusha. I don't know what i take out. That's how important every card in here is. Uh, I might take out Millennium Eyes because Millennium Google should play... They're probably not playing many hand traps in the, in the PPG tournaments because Nibiru... Because uh, uh, like Nibiru's not going to be played. All these stuff are not going to be played because... Uh, it, in the PPG tournaments, you have Block Dragon and you have Needle for Ban, so they're not that important. But I, I'll probably take out, I don't know, maybe the Relinquish Shana, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, Nightmare Phoenix would be the only 16th card I could play, but it's only in a, if, if there's a lot of trap decks to play. Appalooza is mandatory, Access Code mandatory, so usually mandatory, mandatory, mandatory. Uh, Relinquish Shana is mandatory because you play so many level 1s, but if you don't play the 1s, obviously take it out. Uh, uh, you just need one spellcaster level one. Not for its effect, this is just generically the best spellcaster level one. That's why you play it. Sometimes you catch them lacking, but it's not because of its effect. It's, a, it's just the best level one to play. Uh, one strike, one vortex, one absolute. So that's the video, guys. I hope you like it. And again, I'm going to say this again. Don't forget to quickly... 
quickly, go subscribe to Ghost Corporation in the description below because the tournament will be on Sunday Eastern Time tomorrow. And I will announce who's playing. If, if I comment on Facebook that you're in, you're in. I will post everything on Sunday. 11 Eastern Time will be the stream. The tournament will start around 12 to 1, something like that. But hop on at 12, the latest. And I will show you guys who's going to play. There's going to be 256 players. It, it won't be full. It'll be around 120 to 256 maybe. But sign up ASAP to secure your spot. Sign up absolutely ASAP. ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. Send me a screenshot of you subscribe to Ghost Corp and you are in. Top 8 will win a playmat. This is a free tournament. Top 8 will win an unreleased turf playmat. So go, sus go subscribe to them right now. Send me a screenshot ASAP so I can secure you for the tournament. There's going to be single elimination. All 256. One by one. And if you sign up early, you might get a buy. Uh, so sign up early. And with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Triff Gaming as well. Get a people with Triff Gaming. Play in the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. Peace.